let's start. Um, Let's have a simple pendulum as our first example. So a simple pendulum, as I said, you have a bob of mass m, and you have a, a string that is um, we are assuming to be massless, or uh, a more realistic case is that the mass of the string is much, much lighter than the mass of the bob, such that ang, ang the dominate lang na mass ay yung mass ng bob. Okay? So uh, in that case, we have uh, a point mass that is suspended by a massless unstretchable string. You don't want this the string to stretch kasi hindi na ganun kasimple magiging, magiging equation of function yan. You don't want that. Now, the question now is what is, so of course that pendulum will, will swing back and forth. It will oscillate. The question now is what will be the period of oscillation of that pendulum? So uh, what happens is um, there is a restoring force that will make the object oscillate at a certain angle. And we will assume that angle to be small. Okay, so it passes through um, uh, that vertical. So let us define a co some coordinates here. So for example, here, for example, let us say theta, theta here is the angle relative to the vertical. So that's that's our angle. And then what we can do is to uh, set up the equation of motion by determining the forces acting on the bob. Yung bob lang naman yung importante sa atin. So uh, what are the forces acting on the bob in this case? Uh, ano yung forces? Uh, anyone? Tension. Yes, siyempre the rope, uh, the, the string, there's some tension uh, uh, given by T here. And then after that, there is a downward force. Of course, you, that object has weight, capital Mg. And then after that, what we can do is to determine, uh, uh, we can use either uh, Newton's second law or Newton's second law for rotation, depending sa inyo yon. And then after that, what you can do is to decompose this Mg, such that we know that the string doesn't stretch. Therefore, there should be no acceleration in... Uh, in this length here, in the direction parallel to the to the string. Ayaw mo umakit baba yan. Therefore, dapat walang acceleration dyan. And the acceleration should be purely radial error form. And hence, you can decompose this weight here into one that is parallel or I should say anti-parallel to tension and one that is um, one that is uh, uh, tan uh, tangential or uh, perpendicular component of that weight in the, in the direction of of L. So, uh, meron kang parallel sa perpendicular components, which we always do when we, we solve it. And then, syempre, may theta dyan. So, uh, then, ang mangyayari is that there is a restoring force because uh, um, uh, the, the force, it turns out, is proportional to theta. Uh, I should say proportional to some angle relative to theta, which we will, which we will see. So, Ayan, so the arc path is provided by the tension. And it turns out that when you decompose it, what will happen is you have a point mass here. And uh, pinaganda lang yung drawing na ginawa ko kanina. Your theta here is this. You have a cosine theta here and a sine theta here. Okay? And therefore, the acceleration is related to the displacement, uh, to the, in fact, angular displacement. So, um, so again, importante lang sa atin, yung component ng weight tangent to the path. Kasi, as I said, hindi dapat mag-accelerate um, parallel to the to the string yung, yung object. And hence, ganyan niya, uh, wala, wala ka dapat um, acceleration at that direction. So in that case, you can think of it as the only, the only force that we're exerted here is the, 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 uh, the tangential component, which is equal to minus mg sine theta. It's negative because, uh, because of, of our convention na ang positive displacement ay counterclockwise. Okay. Now, so for simple harmonic motion, uh, so this can be written as um, so the force here can be uh, written in terms of um, of the angular of the angular displacement. In fact, the angular acceleration or the second time derivative of angular displacement. Pero kung papasinin mo dito proportional yung angular displacement tayon to sine theta, not theta. Yun yung problema natin. <laughs> Hindi siya necessarily simple harmonic. Okay? Pa no. So so what happens is this. So, so restoring force is m minus mg sine theta. And then, um, but siya ng small angle, pero sige. Um, we will assume that the displacement is very small. Uh, some books will say that the angle of the amplitude of oscillation is 5 degrees. So mag back and forth motion siya, pero 5 degrees lang yung kanyang uh, amplitude. So what happens is you have, and therefore, um, so meron kang meme ng mga engineers sa sine theta is approximately theta. And therefore, the force here becomes sine theta is approximately theta, and therefore your F is equal to minus mg theta. 
Now, this force here is equal to mass times acceleration. We know that. So mass times acceleration. Now, that acceleration is um, is not necessarily actually x. It's actually displacement s. It's the total arc length. So it's the acceleration, or I should say the tangential acceleration at that arc. And that uh, acceleration at that arc can be related to the angular acceleration of of this um of this uh, pendulum here kasi pwede mong isipin na yung a dito ay equal sa alpha times l bakit kasi this linear acceleration here is related to the angular acceleration of the bump diba so if alpha is the angular acceleration one can show that this is just ml alpha is minus mg theta and therefore the m still will cancel implying that uh, the period of the pendulum is independent of the mass of the bob, and therefore you have alpha, which is just the second time derivative of theta with respect to time, which is equal to minus g over l theta. Ngayon, kung mapapansin mo tong equation na to, pansin niyo tong equation na, this is important. This is the second order ordinary differential equation. We know that. Pero kung naalala niyo yung equation natin kahapon, this is dx, d squared x, dt squared is minus omega squared x. Naalala niyo yan? Or uh, wag muna natin yung omega, this is equal to minus k over mx. Tama? Tama? Ngayon, hindi nagmamatter kung anong mga variables yan. They will give the same form of the equation or of the solution. Pareha, uh, equivalent tong dalawang equations sa to. Kasi parehas ang form mo, parehas the type second time derivative by negative of some quantity times the displacement. Pero dito, this is linear. Dito, this is angular. It's an angular displacement. And hence, um, we can show that the angular frequency, therefore, is equal to the square root of this term here. And therefore, uh, the angular frequency is the square root of g over L. Okay? So the point here is, um, for small oscillations, a simple pendulum will behave like a simple harmonic oscillator with an angular frequency given by square root of g over L that is it's only um, dependent on the length of the, uh, of the string and not the mass of the pop. Malinaw. Malinaw yon. Is this clear? Yes, sir. I hope this is clear. <laughs> Important ito. Now, hindi masaya na tayo. Meron na tayo nakuhang omega. Now, what about the other quantities that we want? Again, remember when we deal with uh, with pendulums or with oscillating systems, we want a period of oscillation. And let's say for the frequency of oscillation. Kung naalala nyo last time, the frequency is equal to um, 2 pa, uh, omega over 2 pi. And therefore, pwede mo ma-solve ma yung expression na yan. Similarly, the period is simply inverse of the frequency. And therefore, here are the expressions that we have. So this is the equation of motion of a simple harmonic, uh, simple pendulum for small oscillations. Again, importante dito na dapat small yung oscillations. And then the angular frequency is just given by square root of g over L. Uh, the frequency is 1 and 2 pi square root of g over L. And the period is 2 pi square root of L over G. This equation, paki familiarize Okay? Importante to. Itong 2 pi squared of L over G. Do not forget that. Okay? Malinaw? Malinaw? Is this clear? Questions? Walang tanong? Wala. Wala. Okay. Again, the, this equation is only true for small oscillations. It is not in general true for any, ampli for any amplitudes. Ngayon, eh sir, paano kapag malaki yung amplitude? What happens is that the frequency will now depend also on the amplitude of oscillation. So magkakaroon ka ng, um, ng omega, which is omega, omega of theta naught. It's now dependent on the amplitude. I will not derive expressions here. Wala tayong oras. Pero um, in a nutshell, magkakaroon na ng amplitude dependence yung frequency mo. Hindi lang siya dependent on the length of the string, but also on the initial displacement, theta naught. Okay? Clear ba tayo dito? Questions? Wala? Wala? Okay.